So here we have the Vauxhall Mokka 1.4 Turbo SE Automatic on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think as well we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car are 9,095. The information that's displayed directly above that can be changed using controls on the left-hand uh, stalk, so the indicator stalk. And then at the very top, we've got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we've got cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right hand side we have stereo controls and phone controls. The phone controls of course cannot be used until such time as you set up your phone which is done using the stereo section here and then looking at the screen directly above it. So before we come back to the phone you can see this car's got DAB radio. It also has AM and FM as well. If you listen to your own music you can do. Uh, you've got the CD player. We have auxiliary and USB inputs as well. And all of those are accessed, as I say, with these buttons just down here, as is your phone. So pairing the phone is done by pressing that button. And you can see up on the screen now that we're in the phone menu. We have the CD player just there, followed by dual zone climate control. So this dial will adjust the passenger temperature and this one, the driver temperature. Fan speed is adjustable up and down from the button just here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. All of what you see here is replicated, or duplicated, I should say, sorry, up on the main screen. So when you make any adjustment, it will show up here. So the air conditioning is now on. You can, if you wish to, hit auto, and now what will happen is the car will maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed for you, and you can override that whenever you wish to to put it back into a manual setting. For those cold winter days, we've got a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same on the passenger side, and we have a heated steering wheel as well. This button turns off the parking sensors. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. The auxiliary and USB inputs are underneath that uh, flap just there. And we have the fully automatic gearbox. The buttons, uh, or the button on top of the gear lever will change gear up and down manually should you wish to use it that way. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.